Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a e.l.f. makeup haul that I got from Target, all marked down on clearance, so I've got a ton, ton of products to show you guys. Before I get into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to Ayushi. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to shout out, make sure you guys are subscribed, leave a comment down below, and turn your post notification bell on. So I saw these on clearance while I was at Target one day, and I was like, oh my gosh, like that's a steal. They're 30% off. So I actually bought two of them. I checked out and everything. And then I checked my receipt that night and I saw that they were like $1.20. And the original price was like four bucks. So they were like semi cheap to begin with, but still kind of a steal. So I actually ended up buying three of these angled eyeliner brushes which is really good for detail work if you're doing makeup and also good for eyeliner as well i've got this eyeshadow palette this palette was three dollars marked down from ten i got a seriously satin cream lipstick this is in the shade I don't know what shade this is. It doesn't say, but it's like a light nude color. Two of these products that I got had the clearance tags and it was actually the price as is. Everything else was less than the tag. But this lipstick was $1.50 marked down from $3. I got two of these angled foundation brushes. So normally I don't use brushes for foundation. However, they look kind of very similar to my face like bronzer and blush brushes so i'm gonna try to use these as that and see if it'll work these brushes were around two dollars each and then i got clarifying booster drops so this is really good if you have acne the ingredients looked pretty good overall so excited to try that's a little bit more skincare but you can use them under makeup so it's a good base then I got this tinted lip oil which I am very excited to try I wasn't the biggest fan of the color but I did want to try this product this one was three dollars these were the two products that I think just were at priced as is I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, because I didn't get products for like a full look I will be doing a look with what I have and then also incorporating a few other products that I have just to make sure I can get a full look but I will tell you guys how they are as I go so this is the clarifying booster drops I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my skin doesn't really smell like anything at all Got the clarifying drops on it honestly like felt like i was putting like water on my face like a like it feels like a serum it has the serum consistency however i feel like as it's drying it's like a little bit sticky on my skin so hopefully it doesn't make me too oily um so after just one use and i literally did not even use a lot guys i literally just used a little drop a third of the container is used up in one use so that's kind of strange yeah I do not like that. I'm glad I got this on clearance and didn't pay full price. It was originally $10, so I got it for, it said five. I think I got it for like three bucks. I am gonna use some concealer. I'm not gonna apply a full foundation because I'm trying to let my skin breathe. I am breaking out a little bit. I think these masks are just making me break out a little bit more. I'm just gonna go in to cover up any redness and I'm using the Il Maquillage Concealer. It's in the shade 3.5. And then I'm just gonna work this in with my Beauty Blender. Alrighty, so that's the concealer blended in. I'm not worrying about it like being perfect. There are a few spots that are showing a little bit still, but I'm not really doing anything, so I think it's okay. I'm gonna go in next with this brush. This is the angled foundation brush, so feels pretty soft overall. Seems like good quality. It is obviously synthetic, but it, it feels really nice. It's a little bit thinner than I was expecting, but I think this will work just fine. I'm going to add just a little bit of color to 
my face and I'm using the elf contour palette and I'm just gonna be mixing these two shades I already have this palette I didn't get this marked down or anything okay just kidding guys I okay this is not gonna work how I wanted it to as you guys can see it totally pulled up my concealer yeah this brush I think is a little bit too thick for doing what I wanted to do with it it's like too tightly packed together I mean it's probably works great for foundation I just love using my beauty blender when I do foundation so I'll have to retest this brush out another time we'll do it another time I'm gonna add in just a little bit of loose powder just because I do get oily I feel like the serum though has my skin doesn't feel too oily but it looks a little shiny this is the airspun loose face powder in the shade naturally neutral i'm just gonna do my forehead i think i'm gonna go run out and get food after this so i don't need a ton of makeup on my cheeks let's go ahead and try the eyeshadow palette i wanted to do a very light eyeshadow and then i also wanted to try using the angled brush to do eyeliner from this palette make it so hard to open there's like the sticker at the top i got it yay <gasps> This palette is so pretty, guys. I think I'm gonna do a light wearable fall look. So I'm gonna be keeping it a little bit more like matte brown and we'll do some golden. I'm not gonna go in too much with like the darker shades or the super vibrant ones. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. It's like a shimmery champagne color. brush kind of sucks. I'm gonna go in with my finger to apply these and then I'll just blend it out with the brush after. Next up I'm gonna use this matte light brown shade. Sorry guys, I normally don't do eyeshadow with my fingers like this, but I really need to clean all my makeup brushes and I don't have any clean ones at the moment besides that one, but I really don't like it. So I'm just gonna use that one to blend and yeah. I'm gonna take one of these angled eyeliner brushes and i'm gonna go in with this color right here which is kind of like a deep brown and i'm gonna take some on this brush and pull it into my eye now i have to say with eyeshadow doing eyeliner with a brush like this you do have to be a little bit more patient because you'll probably have to keep going in with it you can blend it out nicely but if you use like a liquid or a gel it goes on a lot smoother i am going to be uh, Sealing this eye look off with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going to fill in my brows really quick. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just going to be using my 7B brush from Anastasia. brows are filled in so I'm gonna go in next with the lip product like you guys saw I did get two different lip products 
So I'm going to go ahead and test the lipstick on the top lip and we'll do lip gloss on the bottom lip. I know it's gonna look a little bit weird, but just wanna test these out. So I kinda wanna test these out as like the true product without anything on, so I didn't do any lip liner. I feel like the lipstick, it's a little bit patchy. It feels really soft going on the lips, but it does look almost like when you put on your foundation it looks cakey that's kind of how it looks on my lip right now a little bit patchy not the best formula it feels really nice though but it doesn't look as good as it feels i'm going to take the gloss now and this is in the shade coral kiss Ooh, okay i'm impressed i was very scared about this gloss i thought this was going to be so bright pink but it actually looks pretty natural like it does have a little bit of a pink tint to it but it's not like barbie in your face it's definitely wearable like daily <laughs> let's mix them together they work pretty well together no but i feel like the lipstick definitely came out kind of patchy the tinted lip oil felt really nice going on right didn't feel as moisturizing as I thought it would be but I do like how this lip oil it feels like a nice formula so these are the products I got I think I spent in total somewhere around like $17 I got three angled eyeliner brushes two angled foundation brushes a elf eyeshadow palette a lipstick a tinted lip oil and these clarifying booster drops i feel like i did get a lot of products for my money so i'm glad that i got these out of all of them i do like the eyeshadow palette i feel like the colors go on really nicely and i do like the variety of colors in the palette so this is actually probably one of my favorites from this haul i also really like the angled eyeliner brush those two are probably definitely my favorites not so impressed with these clarifying drops obviously like i'll use them more to see if it makes a difference with acne or not but just the fact that you know it's almost halfway empty after just using a very very small amount not so impressed with the lipstick i like the color but you definitely have to wear lip liner with it and you definitely have to like apply a gloss or hydrate over top so that way it's not patchy all right so that is all i've got for today so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one love you guys bye